with 89 and I'm doing kind of like a craft update. Um, I'm also um, showing you guys some new stuff that I'm using. Uh, the first thing I got was a tube of the E6000. I was using regular super glue and um, I paid, oh I don't know, probably four dollars for that uh, little tiny tube and I used it like four times just for the little eye pens and it's already gone. So that's definitely a ripoff. But um, I am using this because I noticed everybody else does yet uh, uses this. And uh, thanks a lot uh, for everybody not telling me that there is a cancer agent in this. Uh, yeah, right here. Warning: possible cancer agent. I don't know if you can read that. It's not focusing. Possible case cancer agent right on the top. Like uh, exposure may result in nausea, headache, confusion, or instability. May be harmful by breathing vapors. Yeah, so I'm not, I, I mean, I used it already, and it's not very strong, but I don't like, I, I'm like holding my breath while I'm trying to glue stuff, because I'm definitely not trying to get cancer from glue. <laughs> um, and then, here's just some random odds and ends that I kind of just took out of my other stuff, and I'm going to somehow incorporate it into um, my clay work eventually, I don't know. They're just things I gathered up, and I just kind of put away. But there's this little um, blue heart pendant that my sister actually gave me a while back. So I think I'm going to reuse it and make her a necklace. Um, I've got this little brass heart that came off my keychain. It keeps falling off, so I'm just going to forget about that. Um, and then this, I think this is a little grain of salt or some, some sort of like rock. Uh, but I found it outside. It was real shiny. It's real clear, so I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I picked it up. And then I got this little clear river stone type thing. And this came in the mail on one of those little flyers. Like, if your key unlocks the door to this car, you're a winner. Um, and that's funny how every single key that gets mailed out is exactly the same. But um, somehow I'm going to incorporate this. I don't know. It was just... Why throw away a key when you can use it for something? <laughs> but, um, I also have uh, another tool that I'm incorporating into my clay. And that is, I'm pretty sure all females know what this is. This is a cuticle remover that comes in most nail kits. But it has a, um, you know, it's kind of uh, edged right here, like at a degree. And, um, it's kind of beveled at the same time. I don't know if that's the right word, but... Um, and then the other end has a flat, kind of like, pusher type thing. So, um, that's definitely going to be helpful with clay. Um, I already used this end here to put texture on a tree branch. Uh, so I'm definitely using that. And, um, I've got this as a gift, but I don't use bracelets like this. Um, they turn my skin green, and I can't open it one-handed. But, um, it's brand new, and I'm throwing it all over the place. But it's just a bracelet with the letter A, because my name's Ashley. So it's got, like, the little letter A and some diamonds and just a chain. So I'm going to, um, make some charms for this and, uh, probably put it in my Etsy, because, uh, I'm not going to use it, and it will literally sit in my garage and just sit there and sit there and never probably be used and eventually get thrown away. So I might as well just, you know, let somebody else who's actually going to use it have it. All right, and now on to the clay charms that I have done for the last week. Um, and I also, um, I've been an Etsy member for uh, since 2008, I believe, or 2011, I started a new one, but I finally got some of my charms up on Etsy. Um, the ones you're going to see in this video, um, they, unless I say otherwise, they will be on my Etsy. Um, but, you know, um, anything that I make from selling anything on the Etsy shop is going to be used for my clay. So if I sell a, a clay charm, the money that I'm making stay, is staying in my PayPal account because um, I got one of those PayPal cards. And I'm just going to go to the store and use it um, to buy more clay items. So, um, if you see something you like, don't be afraid to go over to the Etsy and look, or just ask me and I'll let you know for sure. 
Um, and if you decide to buy more than one item, I will only charge one shipping fee. I won't charge you shipping per item. Uh, we'll just have to talk and let me know which ones you want so I can take it down and only charge you the one, for the uh, one. I mean, we could figure it out, but um, I did want to let you guys know I do have that up and running. So um, the first one that I made was this uh, chocolate mousse cake. And it has a little swirl design on it. And I had this made for a while, but I've done a lot more to it. So I'm just, I'm finally finished. So this is the finished product. Um, there's little chocolate leaves. Um, there's swirl around the bottom. And that's what the inside looks like. And I painted the bottom black because, I mean, you're not going to see it very much. And on top of that, the clay um, that I had put down there um, got chipped. Why it ba Well, it didn't chip. It cracked when it baked. For some reason, I don't know. So, I um, I just painted the bottom black, which it makes it look really nice. I like it. Then there's a the little piece that's cut out, which also has a black bottom. Okay, I have um, I made some magnets. And stuff. I'm just gonna dump all this out because I can't dig through this little thing. I made some magnets. Uh, the first one I made was a little grape set. Well, it's like a, just a grape. And then, um, in honor of Valentine's Day, I made three more. Um, those are supposed to be, like, um, heart balloons. And then I have this one with hearts and some roses. And this one here just has some hearts. And each one has a magnet on the back, so they will stick to anything magnetic. Um, I do have this fishy bowl. And um, I did see this on YouTube. I can't remember exactly. I think it's so craftastic. I'm not 100% sure, but I did see somebody else make this. Um, obviously, when each person makes their own charm by hand, it's always different. But still, um, this was not my idea. But I did make this. I have two piggy banks. I have this little red one. Just a little piggy bank. And he sits up. And I also have this little orange one that has a coin in it. And it has a coin right in the slot. And this one's orange, so I got red and orange. I am making different colors. I'm going to do the whole rainbow in those. And um, this is the mold that I used um, to make this. It's a pendant, and it's black with hot pink in the middle. So it's just black and pink clay. And I used this silicone mold to make this, which is glow in the dark. And the spots that had diamonds on the earrings, oops, the spots that had the diamonds on the earrings, I just painted pink. Um, and that is glow in the dark. Uh, it's just black on the back. Okay, I have three dumb dumb pops. I'm making more of these too, and when I sell these on Etsy, um, I'm probably going to sell them in groups of three. I'm not 100% sure yet, because I don't want to charge somebody just for one, because that's not much. That's not that many, so I'm probably going to sell them in groups of three, like different colors or the same color or something like that. But I have a purple, a blue, and a pink one, and I used toothpicks for the um, stick, but uh, I have you know, blue and and purple and pink, so. There's my finished gumball machine, and I also saw this idea on YouTube. Now, I did change it up with the colors and the front piece here, um, but the idea, the base idea itself, I did see somebody do that. But I am going to um, make some flat back um, gumdrop earrings or gumball machine earrings because um, I'm going to make this into a necklace. I ordered some of the um, ball chain keychains um, through Amazon.com, so that sh they should be coming in the mail soon. I've got two suckers, and I also saw this idea from somebody else, but I, of course, did my own type of thing. Um, I also used toothpicks for this, um, but it's orange and pink, and it has translucent clay for the wrapper. And I discovered that um, doing this with that Sharpie, um, not paint. My paint um, was too dry to use, and I just threw it away. I'm going to get more. Um, but that is Sharpie, and you have to wait until it's completely dry 
before you glaze it because if not, that happens. And that was supposed to be just an open mouth and now she looks like she's screaming, so whatever. <laughs> but that's the other one I did. And this is just a bow that I'm going to be using for another project. So this one will not be in my Etsy shop, but um, I had to go ahead and bake it. And there I have a lemon meringue pie set. Um, this set is a granite style plate, which is, the corners are a little curved up. It's hard to see, but you can see they're kind of curved up a little bit. And I have some... If I can get it to focus. I have some lemon pieces here that I uh, attached with the uh, translucent Sculpey. And there's the actual pie itself. Man, this is not focusing to save my life. There we go. Um, but that's what the it looks like. And I mixed translucent and yellow for the pie. And I tried to give the whipped cream kind of like a textured look since it's kind of like a meringue. Um... And then I have a plate with a slice of the lemon meringue pie on it. Also on the granite plate um, with the raised edges around there. I was kind of trying to go for like a Japanese style plate. Um, but there's this piece and these come together. They will be uh, sold together. Um, hopefully you can see all the detail. And I tried to do the top a little brown to make it look like it had that that fire look to it. But those are, that's all my charms for this week. Um, this last week I've been doing um, a lot of other different things, like my Let's Play series, getting the Etsy shop up and going, um, and just some stuff around the house. So I've been a little bit busy. So I haven't been making that many, but um, I do have to say I have more that are ready to go in. Um, so, yeah, that's just a sneak peek. I'll show you when I'm done. But, um, oh, another thing. If you decide to do glazing, well, most, excuse me, hiccups, most people do, I have found the best thing to do. This here, and this is another thing I added since my last craft update, um, I put the shelf above my desk, and um, I can put all my paints up there, I've got that little splatter box full of stuff, um, and then I've just got some paper clips, and this is a little polymer clay basket that I made. Um, I'm keeping this one, but, uh, I, I was just experimenting with the new ball tools and stuff that I got, but I just have some different stuff up here. Now, when you glaze, um, take paper clips and bend them like this, because when you put the, um, let me see if I can do this one-handed here, I'm trying to put a loop over this. All right, there we go. Because you can hang it like this. You can glaze it. And here I just have those little um, half hooks that I screwed into the shelf. And this is just a little wooden dowel that I got from Lowe's that I am using. So I've broken off some pieces. But um, it, it was like 17 cents, I think. Um, but after you get done glazing... You can hang your items right here to uh, dry, which works out so well. Oh, my goodness. I will never, ever dry them on a plate again. And it's, I mean, everything just hangs right here. So, you know, it's, it's very convenient, and, um, you know, I really love doing that. But, okay, well, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it didn't bore you too bad. And don't forget to check out my Etsy. Um, I have a link. I'll put a link in the description. And I also have... Um, a link on each one of my other polymer clay videos. I went back and put the link in there. Um, so like I said, if you do help by buying anything, all of the funds will go towards all polymer clay items. Um, I'm not trying to bank money or anything like that. I just want to share what I make with others and be able to continue to make them um, without spending half of my paycheck, which I somehow seem to do at Michael's. So, um... You know, any help would be much appreciated, and it will also let me know that I'm doing a good job, because I have nobody else to give these things to. Um, the only thing I can do is just keep hoarding them and keep holding on to them, but, you know, um, if I can give them to somebody else and they can, like, stick this on their keychain or their purse and actually get some use out of it, that would be great. So, um, 
hit the like button if you like. If not, hit the down thumb down button, but that'll hurt my feelings, so don't do that. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.